All right, hey, hey, it's Gigi Jeffries with uh, Hot G's Kitchen. Wasn't really planning on doing this tonight, but anyway, I'm gonna. This is just something real quick. It's a panini that I make. I'm doing a quick meal prep for my lunch tomorrow. Uh, I make these pretty regularly. Normally I make it with some deli fresh bread and some deli sliced meat, freshly deli sliced meat. Anyway, I don't have that on me. I got some frozen bread and a little bit of deli meats here. Chicken, ham, and beef as well. We got some white cheddar, some provolone, and some spinach. Anyway, and uh, do this on a George Foreman grill with something like that, some sort of uh, some sort of inside grill. It works really well, I think, and it tastes pretty damn good. It doesn't take very long, just a few minutes, even with the bread frozen. So let's do this. Uh, actually, what is today? It is Monday. December 12th, 2022, and what else? That's it, I don't know. It's the holidays going, stressful time for me. I don't know, maybe stressful time for you. God damn. I got a, okay. That's not working as well as I thought it would. Way to start here, Kyle. GG. There we go, all right. The super, super stressful for me, trying to get together with everybody. Everybody wants to do something. Everybody's got different plans, everybody's got families. Nobody can meet up, people get pissy about stuff. Fucking stressful. Anyway, but it's the holiday, so try and enjoy it as best I can. There we go. I'm gonna split those two apart. This is cool right now, this has not been heated up. Okay. A little bit of butter, I like my butter out, and in this wonderful little butter dish wherever i got it from i don't know let's do it that way a little bit of fresh butter goes on this frozen bread amazing fresh butter what i mean room temperature butter goes on this bread great this is uh you know i don't even know what kind of bread this is huh? to tell you the truth uh i don't know don't really know some big old bread my favorite bread to use for this though uh comes from a little deli in Indianapolis called Shapiro's. Their white rye bread is amazing for this. Anyway, and I mean, they got great food there no matter what you get, but anyway. So, I start out with that butter side down. Remember, this is cool, it's not hot. A little bit of cheese on there. Let me take a little bit of chicken breast here. Again, this isn't what I normally use, but this is what I had for the moment, time being. So, what do we got here? I'm gonna do a layer of chicken here, a couple slices of chicken. I don't know if I need that chicken breast or not. We'll go that way. And I'm weird. I like to I like to rotate the chicken so that. Uh, so that, I don't know, so that there are even layers. You know, the stuff doesn't ever come off right. All right, we are gonna use a little bit of honey ham too. Plus I like as many, as many meats on there as possible. As many things that had parents on here as possible. It's delicious, a little bit of layer of cheese. Help these meats stick together a little bit. Let's see here, you can see. So this isn't the way that I normally, well, but no, you can do it anyway. Stuff's still good. There's nothing wrong with this stuff. It's just not uh, as fancy. Or doesn't feel as fancy. Fold it up a little bit and make it look cute, I guess. I don't know. Something about this. Just feel like I gotta do it that way. I don't know. All right, four slices of ham. More cheese. Doesn't have to be a lot of cheese. But you can do whatever you want to do. It's your panini. Now we're gonna do a little bit of roast beef. Uh, Alright. Let's see. So yeah, Christmas is coming up. I don't know. Let me see here. Few slices of roast beef. Roast beef is always thinner. I don't know why, but it's always thin sliced. I prefer the deli meat thicker sliced. I guess that's probably why I get it from the deli. 
Seems to make sandwiches better to me. But I don't know for sure. You do what you got to do. We're going to go with uh, five, sli five slices of roast beef. All right. This will be good for that. Booyah. Do a little bit more cheese. I like lettuce. Sometimes I throw some jalapenos on here. You know how I like my jalapenos? Lettuce. This isn't lettuce. This is spinach. Sometimes I throw some jalapenos and some tomatoes on here. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not feeling that tonight. But anyway. Thin slice them. The jalapenos and tomatoes. Mix a little bit more cheese on here. Helps everything stick together. And let me see, how did I do that? I think that goes like that, so. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> and the frozen bread is good for this because this room temperature butter spreads on here really nicely. All right. Okay, now, this guy should go on here just like this, this lid gets a little thick like that, alright, good to go, now it takes just about, not even five minutes, maybe five minutes, long enough that we're not too long, that I can't clean up a little bit here. Get my stuff put away. Oh. Speaking of the holidays, I think it's a time where people get get kind of get kind of aloof. Aloof. Get a little bit. I was talking to a friend the other day. She said she's been having weird dreams, kind of existential dreams about what's she gonna do when she gets older. How's she ever gonna have any money? Losing her mind, and I'm right there with her. I, I feel her pain. Like, what, what's going on? You know, I mean, is that because we're all spending a whole lot of money right now trying to get everything done for Christmas? I don't know. I guess maybe. And just uh, uh, getting stressed out about money. I don't know. It might be. So, if you are, if you're out there freaking out about money around the holidays or anytime, really. Hopefully you can figure out where it's coming from and hopefully you can get yourself out of that situation. Uh, she also mentioned something about having dreams about, woke up, dream about slugs. I think, slugs. So anyway, I got these weird little books. Kind of picked up all over the place. Slugs, see if slugs are in this dream book. Slug, 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 snail. Snail, sneeze, snouts. I don't see any slugs. Let's see what snail is. 518. Snail. Snails crawling in your dream signifies that unhealthful conditions surround you. To step on them denotes that you will come in contact with disagreeable people. Okay. Snails crawling in your dream signifies the unhealthful conditions surround you. I wanted to know that. She didn't want to know the answer to it. Well, that's weird. She's having a stressful time at work. Oh, well, let's see, what's, let's see if there's got snails or slugs in here. This is another one. These came from different places. Uh, H I J K L. Slugs. No slug. Snail. The snail appearing in dreams may engender a feeling of repulsion in some people. It does, however, also represent vulnerability and slowness. Okay. From a psychological point of view, the snail suggests steadiness and self-containment. To be moving at a snail's pace suggests a direct, planned, careful movement. What? Yeah, whatever. Spiritu spiritually, because of the spiral shape of the shell, snail is a natural symbol of the labyrinth. What the fuck does that mean? Let's see what labyrinth means. I don't necessarily think that this means anything in particular, but it's kind of fun to look it up. Uh, labyrinth, labyrinth, oh, uh, labyrinth. 
Yeah, beginning with L. Uh, labyrinth. All right. Well, on a purely practical level, the labyrinth appearing in dreams signifies the need to explore the hidden side of our own personality. That makes sense. With its many twists, turns, and potential blind alleys, it is a very potent, uh, potent representation of the human being. Within the labyrinth, one meets and overcomes the difficulties in life which could impede progress. Psychologically, in undertaking our own her heroic journey, we must at some point go through some kind of labyrinthian experience. It is undertaken at a point when we must travel into the differing areas of our subconscious and come to terms with our fears and doubts before confronting our own shadow. Ah! Uh, there was no dream about a labyrinth. But anyway, in dreams, a labyrinth can be suggested by any dream which has us exploring a series of underground passages. It's held by some to be an exploration of the hidden feminine. Okay. I wonder if that has anything to do with the movie The Labyrinth. Okay. You can smell, I can smell this, like, cooking up already. Like, getting done. And then I can press down on the top of it. Kind of get a little screen. And be careful doing this. You don't want any steam coming out of it. You might burn yourself. Spiritually, the labyrinth experience marks a watershed. It is a symbol for the transition stage between the physical and practical world and a deeper understanding of all mankind. The route in one type of labyrinth is unicursal. Unicursal. That is, it goes by a straightforward route which covers maximum ground straight to the center and out again. The second type is designed with the intention to confuse and has many blind alleys, unexpected twists. This represents spiritual progress through having to work out the key or code. Many trials and tribulations are met and overcome, or negotiated, on the path to attainment. Each individual will undertake his or her own route to the center of this existence. Okay. Anyway, that's Labyrinthian. Sorry. Just kind of wanted to figure that out. Anyway, so we've been at this for a couple minutes now. Boom. We're getting a pretty good, gets pretty good marks on there. And actually, I am going to call that done. Because stuff's already going to be on there melted anyway. And, I mean, I kind of did this because I wanted to play with this. I got this new cleaner this weekend. So, anyway. Uh, let's see here. Little cutting board. Let's go ahead and unplug. Yeah. That looks pretty good to me. I think we had, we, th these are really good to make for breakfast too. You can do them up differently that way. Add some egg to it. Use a little bit of chicken. Delicious. I'm telling you. Now, since I am making this as a to-go, I, am gonna throw it right on here. A little bit of parchment paper. That's okay. The inside is still clean, right? Urgh. Cut it out. All right. Careful removing this from here. It will be hot. All right. And. There we go. We got a little bit of a pinini there. Wrap it up, eat it fresh, whatever. It's delicious. Anyway, want to get something quick out there this evening? Uh, I don't know, I thought of this. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Peace!